Hello everyone, welcome back to another video, and today I will be making a short tutorial on how to use your mouse as a yoke in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 and 2020, but I will be using 2024 for demonstrating. So the first thing you want to do is go to the link in description below, and it will take you to this flightsim.to, and here you can get the AirJB app, which is gonna what is what you're gonna use to configure your yoke. So go ahead and click the download button over here and wait for 12 seconds and go ahead and click start download and then you'll get this file over here that says AirJB setup 1.2.1. I already have it so I'm gonna skip this step. So once you have that installed, go ahead and open up the zip file and go ahead and start this app over here. And once you start that, you're going to get this notification of the Microsoft Defender and go ahead and click run anyway. Once you do that, you're going to have this installation wizard open up over here and you're going to go ahead and click I agree. And once that's done, have the app installed and if you don't have an account go ahead and sign up and I have an account so I'm just gonna go right ahead and sign in once you sign in this will be the page you're gonna load into and then you're gonna want to go to Microsoft flight simulator controls and once it's in here you're gonna get this notification telling you to install the driver so go ahead and click install and it's going to navigate you to this section of the panel and right here click install vjoy driver you're going to go ahead and click install and you're going to press yes this app is going to stay on top of everything at all times so make sure to click ok and then minimize it once you do that you're going to have your vjoy installation wizard go ahead and click next next and install now it's going to install the driver and once that's successfully installed click ok and go back to the air jb app and it's going to let you know that you have successfully installed vjoy and go ahead and click ok so we're pretty much done here so now all you have to do is go and launch microsoft flight simulator and we're here loading in and once you're in, we're going to go ahead and click start. And from here on on, we're going to go to our settings on the top right corner. And we're going to go to controls. And here, as you can see, it says VJoy device. So you're going to get, go ahead and click on that. And from here, we're going to go to flight control surfaces. We're going to go to primary control surfaces. You're going to go for your aileron axis. And then you're going to go ahead and click settings. And then you're going to turn on joystick L axis X. And then go back and then go for the elevator axis and click on the settings. And you're going to turn on joystick L axis Y. And once that's done, go ahead to your VJOY device and right to the setting icon next to it. Click on that and click on hardware settings. If this was at 85, just go ahead and tune that down to 0. So here we are in game. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and open up our AirJB window. And once we're here, we're going to go here and under connection, we're going to click connect virtual joystick. And then after that, we're going to click on enable yoke control. And from here on, on, we are set to go. You just you can click anywhere in this area and have your yoke start. Here you're going to click on overlay and then you can drag this to the top, light, top left corner or wherever you prefer it to be. And you can also adjust the size of this window. And make sure to click on Control alt b and that there's a green glow over here so you can use your simulator keys and also use your yoke at the same time but if this is not enabled you will have to manually focus in and out of the apps 
So in order to avoid that, click on Control alt b and make sure that there's this green glow so you know you're in background mode. Or if that's not working, go ahead and manually click enable background mode here and there's going to be a green glow. And that's all for the tutorial today. Thanks for watching and enjoy.